We love that one. Terry Clark has been making her mark on country charts for more than two decades. She has three Juno Awards, eight CMAs for Entertainer of the Year, and is the only Canadian female artist to be a member of the Grand Ole Opry. She joins us in studio. Welcome. Thanks for being back on the show. It's been a little while. Always so happy to be on Canada AM. Are you kidding me? Well, you know, and we're so excited because you, you are such a fabulous entertainer. We love having you on. You've got a big announcement to make. I do. I have, uh, I've been doing these solo unplugged shows all over the world, Scotland, England, all yeah. through the U.S., and kind of honing it. And it's kind of going back to my roots, to how I started out with just a, just just a guitar. Just you and a guitar. Just me alone on a stage. And so I am announcing a tour. I'm going to do this all across Canada. I'm doing the most extensive tour I've ever done wow. in Canada. We're doing 40 shows all across from PEI to Vancouver uh, between mid-September and mid-November. And again, I'm just, I'm so excited. I've been thinking of doing this for years. It's yeah. been a long time coming and planning for it, sort of honing it in these other places so I could get it right to bring it back home. And what an intimate way to do it. I mean, even though you, a big crowds, obviously great venues, but when it's just you and a guitar, it brings everybody a lot closer to the music and as you say, kind of back to your roots. Totally. And you know, it's, there's a lot more storytelling. There's a lot more interaction with the audience. I'm going to, obviously, the places that you always go to when you tour Canada, like the Calgary and Regina, Winnipeg, Vancouver, but I'm also taking this to places that I've never even been before. So you're going to start in Summerside. To Summerside, Atacokan, Ontario, wow. St. Francis, like some places that... I, you know, frankly, didn't even know existed, but I've never been there before, and it's going to be so great to be able to, to do shows for some people in some really intimate venues, and we're doing a Q&A thing at the end of every show, awesome. Ed. so everybody gets to be a part of the show, unlike before. You know, it's amazing, this, you know, point in your career with so many hits and millions of albums sold, to come back to that, when you look at your repertoire, how do you figure out what you're going to play, you know, with oh. everything in these <laughs> venues? Well, it's going to be different every night. I don't want to put the same show on every night, so I'm going to pull from my catalog of the past 20 years, and obviously I'm going to do the ones that people are paying to come in here, the, yeah. the ones they got drunk in college to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that better things to do will be in every show. Songs like No Fear will be there, but there'll be a few more obscure things and album cuts and, and, and things like that, that that I'm going to change up and have several I'm gonna throw some surprises in there. I have a I have a, a thing called a porch board that I play on stage that adds a percussive element, some loops and things like that and just a lot of joking around with the audience and <laughs> somebody gets up to go to the bathroom, just know that you're fair game. <laughs> <laughs> you might even have, a, according to your Twitter, you might even have a golf story to tell because you just oh got back from the Masters. I got to go to the Masters. That's I know, unbelievable. Right? It, I found out last minute, and it was through a, uh, a promoter in Nashville that I worked with on the Toby Keith tour years ago. Wow. I had asked him a year ago, I said, if you happen to have any way to get into the Masters, <laughs> and my friends from Toronto were flying down to visit me, and I surprised them with it when they got off the plane, and we That's all awesome. went. We were sitting at the 16th hole for the three hole-in-ones. Oh, and you were right there. Yes. And you're a golfer, too. Well, I'm a horrible golfer. You get, <laughs> but There's, you golf. Let me preface that with <gasps> I don't golf. I do, and it's, it's fun to take something up that you can do as you get a little bit older. And I wish I'd started 20 years ago. Yeah. Like, I've been to some really cool places on my tours and my travels that I wish I'd have had my golf clubs for, but I sat in a hotel room instead yeah. you know, okay. watching Canada AM. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. You're going to perform for us coming up. This is great, and congratulations on the tour coming up, and we will see you shortly. She'll be back, by the way, to perform on the AM Soundstage at the end of the show.